Hey friends, Kate here from Temperance Meadows, and I just want to show you a little quick workaround, a very cool workaround for a little glitch that sometimes happens when you're pinning from Zazzle. So you can see I have my product page here, these business cards that I want to pin over to Pinterest. If I use this little pin button down here from Zazzle, or even if I use sometimes my Firefox extension pin for Pinterest, a lot of times what happens is when you pin over to Pinterest, you end up with a pin that looks like this. Now, first of all, obviously it's pinned over the square image. So that's a first kind of a problem because Pinterest doesn't love those square images and it doesn't, it really likes to give more of its real estate to the longer pins. So that's the first thing. But the real problem here is, is that it didn't copy over my description. It did copy my title. And I was really lucky because sometimes it won't even copy my title over. It didn't copy my description. Instead, it copied over the standard description of the business cards, which is all well and good. But I took time to optimize my description for SEO purposes. And I want my description to be here too. So that's a little bit of a problem. But we have a great workaround. Uh, I have made a pin using Canva. And I've been using one of my Canva templates that I've made specifically for Zazzle product images, uh, but they're actually really great for any square images. I, I love to use these to repurpose Instagram posts or use square images from other print on demand sites like Redbubble or Society6. Any square images work great. Uh, and I'll put a link below to where you can get these because right now they're half off and they will revolutionize your Pinterest game. But I am using this first one right here. And I made this pin and it looks great and it's ready to go. And it's a lot more eye catching than just this straight pin here from Zazzle. And I want to go ahead and post that up to, to Pinterest. So I'm going to use this publish to Pinterest button over here and I've connected my account, my Pinterest account to Canva. So it's good to go. So I'm going to choose my, my board. And if your board isn't there, you can actually just type your board and it'll show up. And I'm going to grab my, information from this from the uh, website over here from Zazzle. Uh, now what I will do is if I'm pinning a lot of these and I'll show you in a minute what that looks like I will go and I'll copy this information to a text file so that I can easily grab it. I'm going to grab my description. This is the one I worked on to make sure that I had what I wanted in it. Oops go over here and I'm going to paste that in and I'm going to grab the URL and I'm on the promoter 2.0 program, so I don't have to put any kind of referral code in here. But if you're doing affiliate pinning, you want to make sure you have your referral uh, affiliate ID here or something like that. But this mine's ready to go. I'm just going to paste it there and then I'm ready. I could schedule it if I want or I can just publish it now. I'm going to go ahead and hit publish now and that's going to prepare and set itself up. And when it's finally done, what it's going to look like is this, which is, by the way, a lot more pretty to look at than just this plain one. And Pinterest prefers this one, but guess what it did? It still it, it it still gave the price. That's great, but it copied over my description now here. So now I have a pin that is better for my own SEO. My cus my my followers are seeing the description here. They're not just seeing the standard description of the what a business card looks like that's Zazzle, which isn't even really that mostly accurate because you have all those different sizes. So it's really easy. Now, uh, if you're doing a lot of pins, so I've made several pins for this same product because this is a high converting product for me. It's really easy to do. Like I said, I will put it the information on a Word document. So I've copied my URL, my title and my description, and I will go to this page where I've made all of these different pins and click on the one I want to pin, hit publish to Pinterest. I'm going to publish this to business cards. So this is page three. So I'm going to choose page three. And I'm going to put my information in there. I'm going to start with my URL since that's still saved in my uh, clipboard. I'm going to go back to my document. I'm going to copy my description. Come back over here and paste it. Come back to my document. Copy my title. Come back over here and paste it. And now I'm ready to paste another or to publish another one. I'm going to hit publish now. And that's going to publish right up to my board. And it's going to be a pin that's really uh, high converting for me and I can just continue editing and I can continue to do that all the way down. I can also schedule those if I don't wanna sort of spam my followers with 10 pins in a row of this card, I can schedule them out using this feature here. 
where you just choose when you're going to publish it later. So that's really great. So if you haven't checked out our Canva templates yet for Zazzle or any square product images, like I said, a link in the description below, you should definitely check them out because they are 50% off right now. And if you're watching this video past a time when they are not 50%, you should contact me, DM me, and I will give you a coupon so you can get them for 50% off because you need these. If you have Zazzle and you design for Zazzle or you have square product images, uh, or if you just promote Zazzle products and you want pins that are going to be more visible and more high converting for you, this is what you need.